everyone. I think I'd like to start by thanking the Edmonton Police Service. They did an extraordinary investigation right from the beginning of the investigation. You heard from the primary investigator that well over 100 members of EPS were involved in the investigation that led to the, the location and the prosecution of Mr. Twitchell, and I'd like to recognize their work at this time. Uh, and also on behalf of uh, Alberta Justice, um, as you heard the judge say in the courtroom, or Justice Claxton say in the courtroom, that um, we did recognize that the, juries had to go, the jury had to go through an immense amount of heavy uh, evidence and um, disturbing content throughout this trial, and I, can't, I don't think it can be lost what sort of commitment they made to their community and what sort of commitment they gave uh, of their lives to uh, be involved in the process and render the, the verdict that they did. You've dedicated the last two, lives, two years of your lives to this, this case. Uh, how has it been for you? It's our job. How has it been, though? Uh, we both definitely owe our families uh, a yeah. lot of time. I know that uh, I've been getting texts from my family all day to find out if we were going to have a fun weekend or not. Mm -hmm. Has it had an emotional toll, though? Uh, I, I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't an emotional toll, both on, our, on the families, but also just in terms of the the content uh, going through the trial that it's probably fairly obvious in terms of the heavy content that was involved in and the graphic and disturbing evidence that was involved in this trial. So it does play an emotional toll. What was the key point of the evidence? What was the key point of the trial as far as you could see in terms of what led to the conviction? <laughs> uh, so often that's a question that can be answered in this trial. There was so much evidence. I don't think you could identify any one particular thing. Were you surprised that actually was this killing? Oh, I think that's a phrase I couldn't comment on. I think you all heard the evidence and you know exactly what happened. Were you surprised that I actually went to trial considering how overwhelming the evidence was? Uh, every accused has the right, a constitutional right to a trial. Uh, and uh, you can't hold that against them in order to, if they want to have the trial. That's why we have the due process of the justice system that we have and uh, they have that right, and so uh, we can't question what's behind his reasons as to go to trial. Uh, all we, we do is do our job in terms of presenting the evidence to the court and allowing them to, the jury to make their verdict. Before the verdict, was there any sense of doubt at all, or were, were, did you have palpable relief when you heard the verdict finally read out? I'm wondering what that was like. I think we were both satisfied with the completion of the trial and satisfied with the way it was conducted. And we're grateful, as I said, to the jury for their hard work. And being able to turn around to Johnny Altinger's mother. How was that? I think, uh, I think everybody here feels sympathy, deep sympathy for Mr. Altinger's family and uh, certainly because we've had an opportunity to get to know her, it was more personal than that. So I, I was gratified and I'm sure Mr. Van Dyke was as well to be able to shake her hand and, and share with her that moment. Admiral, one of the strangest things of the trial was when Mitchell started crying watching a video of himself being interrogated. What was going through your mind? What, what was happening there as far as you could do it? And did that change your approach to the cross? No, it did not change my approach to the cross at all. I just, um, Mr. Twitchell was clearly not in a state to continue observing the trial at that time. And that's all I had to worry about was that we needed a break so that he could compose himself. But it did not affect the cross-examination of Mr. Twitchell at all. Are you surprised at all about the huge public interest that there's been in this case? Of course not. Uh, of course not. It's a dramatic case with uh, some interesting twists and turns because of the initial exposure to it that it related somehow to the Dexter TV show. It just caught some extra interest, so no, I was not surprised by that. Not to take away from, obviously, the, the job that you two did, but how much of uh, Mr. Twitchell's own, own words uh, helped him bit him? Well, I, this would be a good opportunity to say that really um, we play a role to play in terms of presenting the evidence to the court, but um, really it's the Edmonton Police Service and their investigation that was completely thorough um, and really was uh, the catalyst and was, was able to secure the evidence from Mr. Twitchell's own words, um, including uh, the computer forensic examination by Constable Roscoe and the obtaining of all that evidence. So. Uh, without the thorough investigation of all the investigators and police officers that were involved in the investigation, uh, we wouldn't have had the type of evidence that we had to present to the court. And, and other than the amount of evidence uh, built by Mr. Twitchell himself? Uh, just as Mr. Van Dyke said, it was the totality of the evidence. Did Mr. Twitchell actually convict himself? Did Mr. Twitchell actually convict himself? I couldn't possibly say. Were you surprised by the, the defense that he took of self-defense? I... We were. We had no idea what to expect from him. We were waiting just as everybody else was. 
motive has been a, a question that, that played into this trial, which normally doesn't happen. What, 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 what do you think were his aspects of his motive? Was, was it as simple as simple, he wanted to become a serial killer and we'll stop that? That was the, the motive? I, I think that we could probably only speculate as much as uh, all of you could speculate based on the evidence that you've heard, so I don't know if we can comment beyond that. At what point uh, were you made aware that he was going to A, plead out to uh, uh, interfere with the remains, and B, that he was actually going to admit to killing Johnny Alton? Uh, the same moment that you heard it in the courtroom when he tried to enter that guilty plea. Uh, I'll, I'll, obviously, uh, we could potentially predict that there might be something like that when the remains were deli uh, the information about the remains were presented to the police but we had no further information besides what you saw on the first day of the trial. Was there ever an opportunity